Hey everybody, it's Nightmare Rink. And our random hero appears, yet again. And when we last left off on Let's Play Mega Man X, I took down Sting Chameleon and Boomer Kawanger. Not in that order. Not in that order. But the order I will be taking on Mavericks today is R, because I'm going to be taking two, Spark Mandrel and... I'll get to the second one after I finish this. Most people can guess, though, if you know the boss order, but if you don't, you'll see. Yep. So, defeating um, Storm Eagle will actually affect this stage. Uh, normally, there will be, I believe in this one, it's like bolts of electricity passing through the glass below us. But Storm Eagle's ship crashes into this power plant. And thus, makes our job a hell of a lot easier. Now, in this section of the stage, that bird uh, mechanoloid there is actually going to be passing through areas. And there are some where he'll charge into you to damage you. Such as this jump here. He's going to charge at you, so you want to have a charge shot ready. And I believe it's this area as well. Yep. The bird? It looks like a fish to me. It might be neither... It's just the way it comes at me, it looks like a, a bird turned sideways. Ah. Alright, we have here another sub-boss. This one is weak to the hurricane. So I like to fully charge it and blast it with the full charge shot. Oh crap, it chased me into the corner. Well, that's a new pattern from him. Yeah, he's not... He's actually not fighting the way I'm used to him. Normally he does the bubble drop to lock me in place. And then will launch an attack after. This time he seemed to be bouncing around just randomly. He knew I was watching. Yeah, this stage isn't too complex, but it can be really annoying. Charging Sting Chameleon's full shot grants you temporary invincibility. And for that part, you don't need it, but it helps a hell of a lot. Um, I'm just going to waste this. I want to do this instead. One shot. Okay, now, here we have another heart tank up here. Dash jump onto that small ledge and you should be able to reach it. If not, you can also use Boomer Coangers boomerangs. They help. Uh, I find both ways pretty effective. It's whatever is your preference. Dang, I didn't time that right. I normally get both of these with one shot. Okay, we're back to the bird area. Or fish, as Zero pointed out. Oh, it's a bug. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Weird. Very. It's a bug trailing like a sort of light or something. Like some random deadly firefly. Yeah. Well, it makes sense. Being an electric stage, it's probably supposed to be a lightning bug. Okay, now, what? this is the most joke boss fight ever. Watch this. Freeze. Chill out, dude. Stop. Did I say you can hurt me? Behave. Knock it off. Bad. Bad monkey. Stop hitting me. What did I just tell you? Stop. Bad monkey. 
I didn't even bother dodging. That's how much of a joke fight he is. A few shots of the ice and East Toast. And from him, we get the electric spark. And a very, very bad colored steam. Yeah. Orange Mega does not look cool. Then again, this game, you pretty much lose the blue scheme once you get the armor pieces. Well, he's still a Mega Man, so who cares? Hardcore fans? Yeah, but who's dumb enough to watch an LP if they're a hardcore fan? I probably just pissed off a whole bunch of people with that. Meh. It happens. So, this stage is really actually kind of hard if you don't have Flame Madness weapon. Because that thing, I believe, is one shot. Also, with that, we now have all four sub-tanks. Come on. I hate Metals so much. Metars, Metals, whatever. I believe they are Metals in this one because I was recently playing uh, the Battle Network series and there are Metars there. Okay. So here we want to grab Stink Chameleon's weapon. Again, not needed, but so much nicer. This stage is also where you can get a very special power up later on in the game. Uh, actually, I did bring it up, so it's okay. Uh, you get the Hadouken here. You what? The Hadouken. You know Ryu's Hadouken? Seriously? Yeah. I'll be showing how I get that, uh, later on the LP. The requirements are simple. You need to get every power-up in the game, and just max out your, um, life counter. Then come here and sacrifice yourself a few times, and you get the Hadouken. Very nice. Very. Oh, I never... Oh, okay. I was going to say, I never miss... I never hit those bats there. They always get a free, cheap hit on me, but... This time, I managed to avoid it. Nice. Now, we want to grab this... Actually, in sprite form, it doesn't look too bad. Looks more like gold and white. Though I wish All the right. gloves were like white instead of orange gold there. Yeah. So, this boss actually has another really easy pattern to follow. Pop, shoot. Right now, I'm too close to him to pull it off. Pop, shoot. Pop, shoot. Pop, shoot. Pop, shoot. Pop, shoot. And really, I'm not allowing him to do most of his... With his armor on, you can't hurt him while he's rolling. But if you have Spark Mandrill's weapon, you can knock his armor off and hit him pretty much any time during the fight. Making everything so much easier for everyone. Yep. Using the weaknesses usually has some type of effect on bosses. And even sometimes using things that aren't their weakness can affect them. Like, uh, Launch Octopus can actually be hurt by the boomerangs, even though they aren't his weakness. Okay, so I've gotten several power-ups, beaten two Mavericks. Seems like a bit of a short episode. 
Um. Well, I mean, I guess that's just that. I really don't have time to fit in launch. So then, next time. Yeah, next time is launch. And some uh, power up collecting. That works for us. Yes. Alright then, until next time, this is Nightmare Inc. And a wild hero. And, um, we'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone.